A beautiful London in the sky. Let's go look for a tree. And everyone kind of has their own story, and to hear each of these is just really moving. I haven't had a Christmas tree in years. It feels like the Christmas season. Last year, we just ended up in the situation where we had a lot of extra trees, and I just couldn't bear the idea of throwing away all of these trees. They take 10 years to grow, and um, I know there's a lot of people out there that that could really use them. So which tree do you want? It feels pretty hopeless to sit there and go, I don't even have a tree to give my kids for Christmas. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I could put it into words what it feels like to not know that you can't give that to your kid and there's nothing that you can do about it. So we came up with this idea to give them away to people in need. I appreciate it so much. These people are so, you don't, you don't even know how much I appreciate uh, just a Christmas tree. You're gonna run into a tree. It's going to be very fun to have a real tree. You have kids come in and they get to pick out their tree that they wouldn't have wouldn't have had this Christmas otherwise. So that's a really special feeling to be able to talk to these people and give them this gift for the holiday season. You know my favorite part. <laughs> Careful, honey. Okay. Most places could just throw them out. And then, and then what, you know? But there's people that could have used them for Christmas. And instead of worrying about the money that they could get out of them, they were worried about the families having a memory, having a tree to sit around and put gifts around on Christmas. And I think that just means the world.